people. That no, he said okay. there's another. Now, there's another beat to it. We can right. settle all this by going Under- to our, going to our next guest, who is an expert on huh? um, possibly nothing we're doing. Um, we were talking about this guy yesterday, and I love the name of this guy's uh, product and his company so much. We got him on the phone. He's um, he's Howard Bender, and he's uh, the Schmaken guy. Uh, Howard, guys. Howard, hey, Howard, how are hey, you? Howard. I'm doing great. Thanks for having me on, you guys. Uh, our pleasure. So yesterday at four in the morning. Howard, I'm looking through the overnight news stuff, <laughs> and I see, I see, I, I don't really read much about the National Restaurant Association. I'm sure they're, they're a very fine group of people. I love restaurants, and uh, they they introduced they're the, you. They're the NRA. <laughs> yeah. They're it's the a, it's other a, it's NRA. A, it's a different NRA. <laughs> <laughs> wow, they get a lot. Uh, they get a lot of protests. Well, and people yeah. realize. Wait a minute, <laughs> we're shooting the hell out of prices today. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? There's a five day waiting period for a cheeseburger. <laughs> what kind of country? <laughs> the Second Amendment says uh-huh. you can possess. I'm sorry, Howard. You can see how this one. <laughs> so I'm reading about this, and I love the fact that your company is called Schmaltz Products, mm-hmm. and that you come up with. I imagine this is a fairly serious thing, since this is your your livelihood. <laughs> but you've come up with a product called Schmaken. Schmaken, and you call it Schmaken. S C S C H M A C O N, and it's a non pork bacon, right? That is correct. Mm-hmm. Yes. Now, now, uh, I'm, I'm not trying to um, upset you here, Howard, but I've had, I've had, I've had turkey bacon, Howard, and it blows. Mm-hmm. It's, it's beyond bad, right? Most so, of it. is is your is your non pork beef bacon better? Absolutely. In fact, I have to admit that that's where, at the end of the day, that's where this all started. Was sitting at breakfast with a friend of mine across from me, trying to chew on a piece of turkey bacon, and I just asked him why. <laughs> and he said, I, I don't know. This is awful. And, uh-huh. uh, and that's where it started. Okay. And and I, breakfast. I, breakfast I, I do want to go on record in case the turkey people are listening. I'm a huge turkey fan. You know, I think uh, oh, turkey, turkey doesn't need a lot of help. They make all their money right about uh, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Yeah. yeah. I, I, eat, sure. I, I like to do a turkey, uh, a spring turkey well, every now and then. That's good for you. So, uh, now, Howard, <laughs> um, I know there are a lot of people that um, perhaps don't eat pork products. Uh, for sure. for religious reasons, um, uh, oddly enough, um, uh, several of them, and they also hate each other at the same time, which is a it's whole different weird. story. Yeah, uh, I've heard that. Yeah, as, as they're battling, at least there's no pork around here. Right, as they shoot exactly. each other. Uh, is is this? Is there a component to this that involves people's religious beliefs and keeping pork out of their diet? You know, I think I think that's part of it. But uh, you know, I live here in the U.S. and uh, I like bacon. Mm-hmm. And and to be perfectly honest, there was never this intention to replace pork bacon. I don't know that there's a, a bigger pitch to lose than saying this is going to replace pork bacon. I yeah. love pork bacon. I think it's awesome. I also love beef. Yeah. And there was this opportunity over the course of the last two years to develop something that is crispy. It curls. It does all those fun things. And I guess at the end of the day, it's got this. Uh, it's got all the addictive qualities of pork bacon. Mm-hmm. It's, it, no, it's not available yet, though. Is that right? Howard? No, it was so it is it's going out coast to coast in food service. So hotels, restaurants, military schools, all those guys are able to buy it today and it's going to be in retail packages going into the end of the year. Now is it is country. it is it packaged as is, is it labeled Schmaken? It is labeled Schmaken. Mm-hmm. It now, is did, so, <laughs> just, we don't take it too. There's there's parts of what we do that we just can't take too seriously. Bacon sure. making homework, homework. That's where the name came from. Yeah. The, right. There has to be some humor in it. But do uh, say it's at a fancy restaurant. Does it have to have the word schmaken? Or can they say I, beef bacon? I think they're going to call it. They're going to call it. They're going to call it whatever they mm-hmm. whatever they want. Ha- to. Howard, I wish you worked for a pharmaceutical company because <laughs> why is that? Well, can you imagine the names you'd come up with for? Uh, oh, for like a regular, oh, like an antibiotic, any any any, any, any mm-hmm. kind of pill, bug uh, killer. Uh, <laughs> you, know, you can only come on, huh? Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, like Schmenus Lifter or something. For, what? Uh, Schmenus Lifter? <laughs> you know, for, 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 instead of Viagra. Uh, instead of Viagra, apparently. I apologize, Howard. Howard. Sorry about that. He's in a mood today. Yeah. Uh-huh. Schmard. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, uh, Howard, I, I can only imagine. Did you have to sit down with an attorney to see if Schmaken was legal? So, yeah, there was some time spent. Uh, I'll bet. Yeah. Own the word Schmaken for sure. Mm-hmm. But, uh, you know, it's it. That's our that's the name of the product. And it's... Uh, I, if I could tell you how many people, when we were at the National Restaurant Show, that walked at the booth and said, Schmaken, Schmaken, Schmaken. And they kept saying it because they, did, they couldn't believe that we were really creating a product that was named Schmaken. No, but, but, but you can't call it, I assume, you can't call it Schmaken Bacon? 
I, 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 we joke, we call it the unbacon, or we call it beef sandwich or the bacon. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's, uh, we, aren't, we aren't a bacon product. I mean, we, it's manufactured in such a different way that bacon traditionally is that our standard of identity that everybody calls it is the USDA says we are smoked and cured glazed beef slices. Mm-hmm. No, it, well, that, did that's you, not a good marketing term, right? No, I guess right. Did, did you already have Schmaltz products up and running? So we did. Schmaltz products was out there, and we were in the process, really, of rolling out a bunch of deli products, uh, hot dogs, pastrami, corned beef, but but I making trumped them all, and became it just ended up in the spotlight in a huge, huge way. No, I, I assume you'll market it with like um, I don't know, schmaking and schmegs, <laughs> <laughs> schmaking and eggs, and the, the sh- come, the... <laughs> come smell the schmaking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of what a BLT, <laughs> instead of a BLT, it'll be an SLT. <laughs> Wait a minute, that sounds like slut. Bad idea, Howard. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> a schmake and lettuce and tomato? Yeah. <laughs> now, Howard, when this is available, you're going to have to send us some for an on-air trial. Oh, absolutely. We'll, mm-hmm. we'll try to. Well, Howard, you seem like a great guy. Any other, well, I guess you probably can't tell any stuff you've got in the offing at, uh, at Schmaltz Products. Well, do, you, do you have T-shirts or anything? Oh, yeah, I'm going to get you guys shirts. <laughs> and, and, and I have to be honest, you guys are, you guys are, uh, all over the place, and we get calls. In fact, when you even mentioned us the other day, we yep. got calls and emails from all over the country saying, when can we have Schmaken? Oh, is and, that right? Uh, oh, yeah. It was incredible. <laughs> so, Howard, when do we get Schmaken? Well, Forget he's, the teaching. He's going to get us some. Okay. I will have you Schmaken in your studio mm. in just a matter of days. Yes. I promise you. Yes. Maybe, wow. do, you. Do, you have oh, a, yeah. do you have a jingle yet? Because there's so many you could steal. <laughs> Schmaken all over. No. <laughs> No, but I have a feeling you guys are going to come up with Eddie Schmaken Money. The they were numbers, shmaking. You know. Would you let the man talk? <laughs> Snap in the fingers. God. Oh, man. How, Howard, what is your background? Are you a Do food, you have anything made out of uh, beef rectums that we could call a Griswold? <laughs> and just, no, you, uh, you know, it's not that good of meat. <laughs> <laughs> How, Howard, are you, a, uh, are you a food guy or a butcher or a, a scientist I, or what? So, so I am a food guy. I'm mm-hmm. not a scientist, but I my background was uh, I went to Culinary Institute of America out in New York. Sure. I, I, I've been in restaurants. Uh, restaurants. I worked for a major food distributor for, for 10 years. I, I own a big deli. Uh, and really, as I was developing a number of other products, uh, honestly, over a breakfast challenge, I started working on Schmaken about two years ago. Hmm. And, and it just, uh, it, it, it has a, it's just blown up. That's a great idea. So when uh, yeah. you, you've been in food all your life, what's your favorite meal to sit down to? Wow, I have to say right now, Schmaken and eggs. Of course, good I mean, answer. Like, no good one answer one from from the Schmaken Baron, <laughs> <laughs> Howard Ben. <laughs> Howard, you're supposed to say Schmaken and Schmegs. Okay, yeah. you're the president. Get it right. I just no gave you your new slogan. You've no already me. blown it. <laughs> um, uh, Howard Bender uh, calling us for the last time is our guest. Um, he is the creator of um, of, of Schmaken. We, we we've listed you on our board here as the Schmaken magnate, mm-hmm. which is oh, no. uh, which is hilarious. And, and once again, I love the fact that you call your company Schmaltz Products. Your Schmaltz. Lawyer, your lawyer must love it when he looks at his thing for the day. What am I doing? Oh, I got Schmaltz yeah. Schmaken. <laughs> hey, Schmaltz we, Schmaken. We are- we're never mistaken by somebody else. That's for sure. Yeah, no well, doubt. That's, mm-hmm. that's really great and and, and really funny. Uh, congratulations! Uh, Thank you very much. On the, Can't uh, wait to try it. On the great idea, and we'll yeah. we'll we'll try we'll try Schmaken, and um, I'll look forward My to Schmaken it. Schmaken does a first name. It's a C-H-A-N-S-M-A-N. C-H-A-N-S-M-A-N. Oh, I'm sorry. Is it <laughs> so? Is it is it slumicious? Wait, that would work. Slumish. I thought you were going to say schlut. I swear to God. He tried to. Trying to say deliciously. Maliciously. I'm trying to think of a way to put the schma in front of something good. Malicious. Mm-hmm. Oh, that sounds malicious. Yeah, I know. That doesn't sound. Sorry. Mm-hmm. That's going to be a tough one. Yeah. Your takeaway from this. Don't well, include Well, uh, we wish you a uh, The takeaway from this is why the hell did he make this call? <laughs> exactly. It's shummy. Why, uh, uh, it's shummy. I hope you have great success with your schmaken. Yes. Thank you. Thank uh-huh. you very there much. May uh-huh. some, like there may be some awkward headlines. I think like, there already like are. Like Bender Schmaken. Is it, packaged, uh, is it packaged just like uh, bacon is, thin slices in a kind of a sealed uh, package? Yeah, the, the retail package that we're coming out with, it, it's, you'll, you'll find it in the bacon aisle part. with the other alternative, you know, the pork products. You'll find it in that aisle. Mm-hmm. And, and uh, in big, bold writing, you'll see the word Schmaken. Feel and like Schmaken. It's too bad Elvis died. Love. 
taken me lately. And, uh... <laughs> Elvis loved bacon. Uh, Elvis would have loved this. Do you, do you have an official slogan other than the idiotic ones we've been throwing at you? Well, the one, you know, the one that we've been using is, it's beef answer to bacon. Ah, okay. Well, see, that sounds legitimate. We we were thinking, you know, like, we were thinking oh, of something no. like, there's no Miss Schmaken, Schmaken bacon. There's no Miss, there's no Miss Staken Schmaken. No yeah, these need work, Howard. Like Don't even write this down. They probably were all considered. Company. We're thinking, we're thinking yeah. out loud. Um, well, good luck. By the way, real quick, uh, Howard, um, how will uh, 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 Schmaken compare to price-wise to bacon? Is it the same? A good bacon. You know, you think about the price point. It, it, it's going to come in. It's going to come out into the market, retail market, at the price of a good bacon. Mm-hmm. Is, uh, but it's beef, and uh, it is beef. There's a there's 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 a certain level of I like to think an upgrade in beef. But you know, again, I love pork bacon, and Schmaken is going to be coming out in the market, and it's going to be relatively similar in price to to the okay. rest of the market. Now, if you're looking for a voiceover guy, chick, you want to audition for Howard. Well, what are you guys? What are you guys going to come up with a, a slogan? Not just a slogan, but Schmaken. a Schmaken. 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 Schmaken the right mm-hmm. choice. I think I just heard an Elvis. Somebody's going to do an Elvis. Vegan yeah. Elvis thing? Oh, man. Well, the oh, king man. loved bacon. Oh, oh, man, I can't believe it's Imagine the Schmaken. king endorsing Schmaken. <laughs> oh, it's a schmazing. <laughs> man, if I weren't dead. Oh. <laughs> Schmaken all over. You know, it makes you wonder what uh, the guys were thinking about when they came up with Schmuckers Jam. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> with a name like Schmuckers. It's got to be good. Be good. Oh, with a name like, Sh- with a name like Schmaken. <laughs> uh-huh. I'd, be, I'd, be remiss if, I'd be remiss if I didn't tell you guys. You know, so Schmaken is coming out on the market. Uh-huh. It, it is beef bacon, and I call it beef's answer to bacon. But the one, a couple of qualities to it, 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 uh, it really is coming out of the market about half the calories, right? Half half the fat, mm-hmm. cooks in half the time of uh, traditional pork bacon. Oh, good! And uh, it really does. It has a great crisp. And you have to work uh, when I when I cook bacon. Get a load of this, Howard. Every, uh, mm. Pretty much every <laughs> oh, Sunday morning, Howard. I make. You think you were sad? <laughs> you called come. before. Get a load of this, Howard. Go ahead. Well, how, Howard, Go ahead. Just, tell him, Tom. What Howard, you do? Howard, Howard went to the Culinary Institute on on on, uh, on the Hudson River, right? Uh, uh, Hyde Park. Right. That's yeah. right. That's um, right. Ever, did you ever did you ever ever tour uh, Roosevelt's? Oh, Home. Oh, the Roosevelt Man. Tom, tell sure. them how. Oh, I'm sorry. Tell them how you grass. prepare bacon. Uh, unlike uh, first, a, what do you do? Well, I put on. I have in my kitchen. Uh, I have a really nice uh, uh, cooktop, and I use. Uh, I put on uh, uh, goggles. I have my bacon goggles because I make pancakes, <laughs> usually blueberry or raspberry pancakes. Howard, he puts for, on for safety grill. goggles to cook bacon. Mm-hmm. I, I don't blame him. Now, when oh, you, is that right? When you're you, on his side. Better. Come on, Howard. <laughs> when you when you cook schmaken, Howard, to cook schmaken, when when you send me some, I'll I'll make it with my pancakes for the girls on Sunday morning. Mm-hmm. Do you, should I be wearing my goggles? Is it, does it have that kind of crisp, greasy? Uh, you don't. Well, so you don't have to. It'll it'll cook in half the time that you're you're used to, and it won't have the spatter because there's so much less fat. Uh, ah, spatter. That's a good word. Mm-hmm. Shindubi. No, Schmatter. there's no batter with batter. Batter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Somehow we're going to get in trouble if we keep talking to Howard. So. Mm-hmm. Howard Bender is our guest. Howard is a cook guy, a food guy, and it he's come up, he's come up with schmaken. What a cool idea! Thank you. Thank and you do, do you have much. any other really radical concepts in the offing that maybe you probably don't want to give them away? I, I think we're playing with some other things, but right now I, my world is my world is pretty much all schmaken. It's all my world schmaken is schmaken. all day. Mm-hmm. There's schmaken bits coming out, so it's a... Schmaken bits. Schmaken bits for salad. Schmaken <laughs> bits, you know, it's, it's like the bacon bits in the new world, and then uh, it's coming out soon. And, and of course, you see uh, ready-to-eat, fully cooked bacon strips, and, of course, we've got the ready-to-eat strips coming out as well. Oh, so, you just pop in the microwave kind of thing? Yeah, oh, okay. five right. seconds in the microwave, already crisp, ready to go. Fantastic. And, all three are going to be coming out here shortly. Mm-hmm. The, the, one, of, one last thing. Yep. My dad used to always eat uh, peanut butter and bacon sandwiches. Mm-hmm. Nice. nice. So, have you ever tried? Have you tried the peanut butter and schmaken? Oh, sure. Is I mean, if you play the Elvis sandwich and with the bananas, and it's uh, it's, it's awesome. You know, actually, Howard, I can actually probably you can actually have a takeaway from this interview. I can mm. tell you something I bet you don't know. Oh boy! Oh boy! Hey. Oh boy! Sit, sit back. back, relax. <laughs> sit back, relax, Howard. No, you're a cook guy, and I'm sure you know a lot more about it than I do. But do you know the secret to Elvis's uh, the bacon and uh, banana sandwich you mentioned? I don't. What's the secret? I heard an interview. Don't die. I heard an interview with Elvis's chef, and you'll laugh when you hear this. But the the secret to that is because Elvis would deep his his cook would deep fry these. Peanut oh, butter, man. Bananas. but the <laughs> the secret was first she would make toast, so she was actually deep frying the toast. That's oh, what man. gave him that 
that see that's a little trick. You that's wouldn't dream. By I the think. way, eating a deep fried peanut butter and bacon sandwich. As Bob pointed out, good luck not dying. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's yeah, the key. Yeah, if there's anything more decadent, mm-hmm. you, know, you need a cardiologist with mm-hmm. the sandwich. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. But with Schmaken, uh, Howard said you're going to have lower calories. And that's fantastic. Yeah. It's, what's, it's better for, for your schlemesterol. Mm-hmm. That doesn't work. It is. Good, you can, it? Now you can eat Schmaken <laughs> and eggs every day. Amen. Thanks, Howard. You sound like a great guy. Howard, yeah. uh, best oh, of luck to you. Awesome. Uh, you're thanks. awesome. Thank you. Okay. I love you guys. Thank you. Thanks, Aww. bye. Howard Bender, the nice inventor of Schmaken. Guy. I think we're getting some Schmaken in the mail. A nice looking guy. Howard looks just like I thought he would. Uh, yeah, a nice looking guy. Which one's Howard? That one, the red shirt. Oh. Okay. Yeah. And that does, he does look like the Schmaken. Doesn't magnet. he? He looks like a The Schmaken <laughs> Baron, Tom. I could have I oh, picked him out right away. <laughs> really? <laughs> Howard and I have the same charming hairline. <laughs> yes, you do. Howard's a little younger, but uh, yes. All right. Well, Good luck, Howard. That was great. Was so you're Kyle saying he doesn't area? need a hairnet in the kitchen? No. Okay. No. If there's a hair no, in your bacon, doesn't. it came from somebody else. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay. All right. God, he's going right. to be sad he called, isn't he? Yeah, he's going to be a... He's gonna, I Pat, wanna. Pat McAfee just tweeted, he's going to be a billionaire. This making things going to fly, so... Mm. All right. well, I hope so. Wow. I like it when people are successful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nice. Good for Howard. Yeah. Um, we have... Um, Here's a story for oh, you. Though. What do you got?